The movie begins with a scene of a boy named King Ming practicing a protective spell with his teacher, Zhang Xing, on an icy land. King Ming practiced protective spells until he grew up, but he had not yet mastered the spells. He showed his teacher that he was more adept at using teleportation spells. Zhang Xing then explained that the protective spell was the strongest basic spell when facing an enemy. He asks King Ming to immediately master the protective spell because soon an enemy will come, namely the evil serpent, a giant snake that is very strong and will eat every human desire. The evil serpent was sealed in an iceberg not far from where King Ming was training. Not long after, there was a rumbling sound from the iceberg where the evil serpent was sealed. Zhang Xing, who understood the situation, immediately transferred King Ming with a teleportation spell. After that, Zhang Xing used a spell to summon his three guardian spirits. He was trying to put a seal to prevent the giant snake from coming out of the iceberg. With the evil serpent's overwhelming power, the seal finally broke through. At the same time, several of Zhang Xing's students, including King Ming, came and tried to help him. Zhang Xing asked his students to cast a protective spell. All of his students managed to do it except King Ming. Seeing this, Zhang Xing transferred his protective spell to King Ming so that now he had no armor to deal with the evil serpent. The evil serpent's attack injured Zhang Xing, and one of his guardian spirits, the Golden Spirit, sacrificed himself into the giant snake's body and paralyzed him. As a result of the evil serpent's attack, Zhang Xing was poisoned with a poison that had no antidote. Knowing that he would die soon, Zhang Xing advised King Ming that the evil serpent was not really dead. The snake resides in the body of a woman in the imperial city. Then, he ordered King Ming to go to the city and stop the evil serpent's rise. But before we continue, we want to thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. What comes to mind when discussing cybersecurity as an active internet user? Yes, a VPN is the most important protection for you in the online world. The best thing is Atlas VPN is more than just a VPN. It works as a shelter to protect you from Wi-Fi dangers, unsafe websites, and other online threats. You can access anything safely, thanks to VPN encryption and tunneling. Try the Tracker Blocker feature too, as it blocks access to dangerous websites. Now you can unlock blocked websites, mask your location in any part of the world, then makes your browsing private. And most importantly, using Atlas VPN is so easy. There is no personal data logging, and more than 750 servers in about 40 locations worldwide are available. Enjoy all these conveniences for only $1.99 per month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Discover a safer and more open internet only with Atlas VPN. Get Atlas VPN today and get a special 3-year deal only for $1.99 per month. Link in the description. The scene changed in Imperial City. In a palace room, there was a man named Hei Shouyue and a woman named Fang Yue. Hei Shouyue is the guardian spirit of teacher Zhang Xing, assigned to protect the princess. However, for some reason, Hei Shouyue changed his face to resemble that of teacher Zhang Xing. Elsewhere, a master named Boya playing flute on the roof of a building. Meanwhile, King Ming had just arrived at Imperial City using a boat. Not long after, the two masters sensed that there was a demon presence in the city. They found a demon stealing musical instruments in the middle of the city. Boya, who really hates demons, immediately attacked him by releasing an arrow. However, this attack was thwarted by King Ming using a teleportation spell. He explained that the demon was not evil. However, Boya insists on killing the demon so that the two masters get involved in a fight. Finally, King Ming chose to relent and used a teleportation spell to avoid the fight. After that, King Ming reunited with the scientist he had saved. Feeling indebted, the demon wants to become his guardian spirit, naming himself the Killing Stone. The scene continues when Boya arrives at the Imperial City Palace. He meets King Ming and Long Ye. The three of them were representatives of the four masters who would stop the evil serpent's evil. A few moments later, Hei Shouyue appeared and greeted them. Seeing his presence, King Ming was taken aback because Hei Shouyue had a face similar to his teacher when he was young. From this, King Ming felt that something was weird within the palace. The next day, Boya, King Ming, and Long Ye gathered to perform the celestial worship ceremony. Afterward came the princess, who asked where Master Hong Ruo was. It turned out that he had been killed by a demon. Eventually, they found out who had killed him, and after investigation, everyone suspected King Ming. According to his family tree, King Ming was the son of the Nine Corrected Fox. At night, the masters kill the demons, so the four statues of Imperial City Guards protect the city when the evil serpent attacks. In the following nights, they intensified their efforts to exterminate the demons, but not King Ming. He seems to be just relaxing with his guardian spirits. Boya was finally annoyed with King Ming because they had no more time to relax. King Ming explained that he wasn't really relaxing. He dug up information about the whereabouts of the demons from his guardian spirits. Of course, this greatly benefits other masters to exterminate the demons. King Ming confirmed that the demon spirit he was looking for was not an ordinary demon but a demon that had devoured human desires. The next scene shows King Ming and Boya rushing to the princess's residence. 
Arriving there, they saw the princess was unconscious. King Ming and Boya tried to remove the demon spirit from her body. After being successfully expelled, King Ming said it was the demon spirit he had been looking for all this time. The demon spirit has eaten the princess's desire. This is evidenced by the power of the spirit, which can awaken the spirit of the dragon guardian statue. One night, King Ming, who was in his room, heard a commotion from the princess's residence. After teleporting there, he saw Hei Shoyue attack Long Ye, trying to kill the queen. King Ming, who didn't immediately believe Hei Shoyue's words, tried to separate them. A few moments later, Boya appeared and joined the fight. Suddenly, Hair Demon appeared from behind Long Ye and grabbed her neck. Seeing that, King Ming tried to save Long Ye, who died from the stealth attack. With a limp, she said that the queen was the princess. After saying that, Long Ye died. King Ming was silent and thought about what she meant by that. In the next scene, the princess tries to draw a sword at Hei Shoyue and asks what he meant to control the hair demon to kill Long Ye. He replied that he killed Long Ye because she had learned the secret that the princess was the real queen. The queen seen so far was only a paper doll belonging to Hei Shoyue. The reason why the queen changed her identity was that she was immortal and could not age. The princess's body had become the sealing medium for the evil serpent's serpent. Her real name was Feng Yu, had changed her identity many times so that people would not suspect her. In another scene, King Ming talks and suspects Hei Shoyue is the mastermind behind Long Ye and Hong Ruo's murder. They agreed to test Hei Shoyue to get solid evidence. After that, King Ming met Princess Feng Yu. Meanwhile, in a separate place, Boya met Hei Shoyue. King Ming asked her a few things. However, Hair Demon suddenly came and attacked her before she answered his question. Even Princess Feng Yu, who already had a mortal life, was unconscious. Afterward, King Ming went after the demon. Unfortunately, after the hair demon was cornered, the demon disappeared. After that, he met Boya, who had been lying unconscious after being attacked by Hei Shoyue. King Ming and Boya, who knew the truth, tried to stop Princess Feng Yu and Hei Shoyue from resurrecting the evil serpent. However, Hei Shoyue cast a teleportation spell that trapped them in a different dungeon. King Ming, who knew the teleportation spell, easily left the room. But, unlike Boya, who doesn't understand magic, he is still confined in the room. Afterward, he tried to save Boya with various spells that he mastered. Finally, King Ming found Boya and saved him. At the same time, the scene shows Princess Feng Yu lying on a stone table. Then, a snake was born from her body. The snake was an evil serpent. Shortly after, the small snake entered and merged into Hei Shou Yue's body, standing near the stone table. The resurrected evil serpent also tried to leave the Imperial City. The Guardian statue activated and sealed the Imperial City with the evil serpent's birth. As it turned out, one of the guardian statues, the Vermilion Bird statue, did not remove the seal. This guardian statue was the one that Hei Shoyue was responsible for. He had purposely not put a spirit into the statue of the guard to give him away when he was about to leave the Imperial City. When Princess Feng Yu was above the evil serpent trying to leave Imperial City, she felt very guilty. She tried to end her life by jumping with Hei Shoyue from the giant snake. Unfortunately, her efforts were in vain as the evil serpents controlled by Hei Shoyue immediately caught them back. On the other hand, King Ming and Boya were trying to stop the evil serpent from a gate the giant snake was about to pass through. King Ming summoned his three guardian spirits, Killing Stone, Snow Hound, and Mad Painter. Afterward, the guardian spirit tried to seal the Imperial City. Not long after, Boya said he would activate the Vermilion Bird Spirit so that the Imperial City seal could be fully activated. He said that he wanted to be King Ming's guardian spirit. Hearing this, King Ming, trying to control his guardian spirit, couldn't do much and looked sadly at Boya, who left him. Meanwhile, King Ming's guardian spirits fell one by one and lost to the evil serpent's attack. Not long after, Snowhound asked him to follow Boya. Boya had used his spirit to activate the Vermilion Bird Seal. Suddenly, his body fell to the ground. Now, Imperial City's final seal has been fully activated. Soon afterward, the figure of Boya appears in his new form, the Vermilion Bird. King Ming gave some spells so that Boya became his guardian spirit. Boya, with his new strength, immediately went to face Hei Shoyue. After that, they fought. At the same time, King Ming met Feng Yu, who was in another dimension to meet Zhang Xing. It turned out that Zhang Xing was the person Princess Feng Yu loved very much, which was why Hei Shou Yue changed his appearance to Zhang Xing so that Princess Feng Yu would not be lonely. At that time, Princess Feng Yu spoke several things until she finally watched Zhang Xing leave for good. She finally realized what she had done. Then, she and King Ming returned to Imperial City and attempted to stop the evil serpent. When King Ming and Princess Feng Yu returned to Imperial City, Boya tried to attack Hei Shoyue with a sword belonging to Zhang Xing. However, with his immense strength, Hei Shoyue could withstand the attack with a protective spell. After that, Princess Feng Yu tried to distract Hei Shoyue. She threatened to kill herself using the sword she was now holding. 
because the evil serpent was no longer residing in her body, now she was dead after she hurt her neck. Seeing that, Hei Shouyue, as Princess Feng Yu's guardian spirit, felt he had failed in his duties due to her death. This caught him off guard, and Boya's sudden attack hit his chest. Before the evil serpent actually died, the snake made an attack on King Ming. Boya, who saw that, immediately protected King Ming by becoming a shield. Then, Boya finally disappeared because of the attack. As it turned out, Hei Shouyue was still holding on. He stood up, took the sword stuck in his body, then threw the sword at King Ming. King Ming then tried to block the attack using a protective spell. Unfortunately, the spell didn't work because of Hei Shouyue's strong power. The sword finally penetrated King Ming's body. At the same time, King Ming remembered his teacher's words. Now, he had truly been able to obtain his true self. With that power, he took the sword back toward Hei Shouyue. Because of that, he could not react to seeing King Ming's immense strength. Finally, the film ends with Hei Shouyue dying beside Princess Feng Yu while holding her hand. The moral that can be learned from this movie is that sometimes a person must go through difficult things first to find the great strength within him. In addition, never stopping learning is the key to getting the highest achievement in life. Get Atlas VPN today and get a special 3-year deal only for $1.99 per month. Link in the description.